Victor Newman was introduced to Y&R in early 1980. He revealed his true identity during one Christmas storyline where he revealed to Nikki his family background. As a part of that storyline, Weiner later introduced Victor's father, Albert Miller, in 2003. The actor was portrayed by George Kennedy, who sadly passed away in 2016 at age 91. In honor of the late star, here's a video recalling the best moments of George Kennedy's career. Before we get on with the video, we want you to know that we make new videos every day. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. One of Hollywood's greatest actors of his time, George Kennedy was born on February 18, 1925 to a musician and orchestra leader, father George Harris Kennedy and a ballet dancer mother Helen Kennedy. After his father passed away in 1929, he was solely raised by his mother. Kennedy began working at a very young age. He was only two years old when he made his stage debut and by age seven, he launched his career as a radio DJ in New York City. As a teenager, he joined the U.S. Army and served for 16 years before being discharged in the late 50s after enduring a back injury. It was then he debuted as a TV actor playing the role of a military policeman in the CBS sitcom The Phil Silver Show in 1956. He was also a technical advisor on the show. Finally, in 1961, he made his film debut playing the role of Nathan Dillon in The Little Shepherd of Kingdom Come. Over the years, he played many significant roles which propelled him to greater success and fame. In 1967, he won an Academy Award for playing the role of Dragline in Cool Hand Luke. He was nominated for a Golden Globe Award as well. Then in 1970, he received a second Golden Globe nomination for playing the role of Joy Petroni in Airport. Among the other pivotal works of his career are Sherrod, The Fight of the Phoenix, The Boston Strangler, Guns of the Magnificent Seven, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, to name a few. On television, he played a few major roles in shows like Dallas, The Blue Knight, Sarge, etc. He reprised his role as Carter McKay from Dallas in its franchise movies like Dallas, J.R. Returns, and Dallas War of the Evings, following which he took a short break from TV. Then in 2003, he made a comeback by playing the role of Albert Miller, Eric Braden's on-screen father on one r he made occasional appearances on the show until the character was killed off that same year. Later in 2010, he appeared in an episode as a ghostly vision to his son. It marked his last appearance in a TV role. Likewise, the 2014 film The Gambler went on to become the last movie by Kennedy. Sadly, on February 28, 2016, 10 days after his 91st birthday, Kennedy passed away at an assisted living facility in Middleton, Idaho. He died from a heart ailment. Before his death, Kennedy was the oldest living Oscar winner in the Best Supporting Actor category. It is seen as a coincidence that he passed away on the day of the 88 Academy Awards. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.